Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And did you realize we have an energy problem in this game? So I'll break down bits and pieces of our energy crisis, but I'll also provide recommendations for our developers, of course, because again, we want this game to improve, don't we? So we will start off with our max energy. So if you notice, guys, our max energy doesn't really increase that much in terms of cap so it's at level 60 i don't remember it increasing every time we level up so if they increase the cap definitely that would be a big plus but i'm not sure if they're they want to increase it probably in the future because 160 is an odd number so as you can see it's 160 why don't why don't they make it 200 instead of 160 so that is one the energy supply for this game is actually pretty nuts because this medium sized here balder something is actually going to give you 30 if you remember this one the yellow or the orange one will give you 60 i wonder why they haven't released an energy refill for full energy refill that would be great right if they would just you know um have another one which is full energy recharge that would be great or they could increase the energy this one would be 60 this one would probably 120 it's now it's still not the cap but it's a more of a welcome increase so those are the things that i think they should tinker of and think about and also this one is probably one of the worst um, increments that I've seen. So this one, I assume, should be at full energy because you're using uh, Digicash. Yet, this is only up to 60. And the increment per refill is going to go up. So this is at 30. Next, if I confirm this, this is going to be at 40. So on and so forth. And... Um, it's not an increment of 10. So if you can see, at 40, it only increases to 30. It goes down. <laughs> it goes down. It's not 60 permanently. So um, your subsequent refreshes actually increase in cost. But yet the presence, is, the, the, the presence that is given is down. So look at that. So they also have to fix this because again you're using digicash this this should be at least for me half of our max or at most full max already if you refresh your digicash because again digicash is very very scarce my god so if you refresh this at 40 let's do another refresh here okay Sorry, it's at 60 because I had, I clicked here. So if you click it, every refresh is at 60, not 30. So 60 all the way for Digicash, but the increment increases every time. And it gets worse as you refresh further. Okay. Also, in terms of um, now that my presence is full, um, the refresh rate, just want to discuss this. The recharge rate is 1% presence every six minutes it's not that bad but again it could be better <laughs> at this point so this is part of the problem the energy max the energy refills and the energy recharge this is the problem they should tweak this <laughs> they should tweak this it's about time that they tweak this hopefully in another big update they would have an answer for this I've only I've already given my recommendations in this video so moving to the next problem is the energy requirement okay so these are these are the stages that we usually farm because um, if you're stuck in the main story like for example here so this is chapter this is chapter 8 if you want to go to chapter 9 You'll have to be level 60 to open this one. I know that because when I was in chapter 7, I had to be level 50 here. 50 before I could play um, the first combat 
scenario here. So every chapter there's a there's a level uh, limit or level um, goal that you should reach so that every chapter would open the next one at chapter 9 is at level 60 again so if you look at my account I'm at 53 so this is a big problem because right now I cannot I can no longer level up in the main story I think the last one that I have is the boss so I have to finish that the other avenues were in you could uh, get um, what do you call this command records command records are actually the ones that give you experience for your adjutant so command records are um, available in your daily but the daily is not even enough this is a hundred this is 75 this is 75 again 50 and 40 that that is not enough and also in the main story the main story is also unlocked you have command records here but it's unlocked in leveling up some of them so again um, command records are really hard to you know hard to farm so going back again to the operation if we cannot farm the main story if we cannot farm the task anymore where do we get our command records we get in operation and what's worse about this the higher stages that gives the highest command record actually is so expensive in energy this is 40 for 40 command records and yet your cap is only 160 so it's like if you're maxed out at 160 this is only good for what times 4 160 then your command records would be also 160 and yet your adjutant uh level up is at 730. so again it's really going to be a snail space when it comes to leveling up as you go further as you level up to the level 40s level 50s and level 60s it's gonna get harder guys um i tell you it's going to get harder and very slow and leveling up so for those who are not yet in level 40 or level 50 i'm sure you're still enjoying cruising along the stages and leveling up your adjutant but as you um go up to 40 15 probably 60 then things will be a real uh, will be a real challenge previous level from when i had to reach level 50 it took me um, three days, two to three days, just to go from 45 to 50. Now I'm not sure in how many days I am going to go to, you know, uh, close the gap or or go from from 53 to 60. I'm not sure how many days. Probably take me five days, unless I spend DigiCash for this one. So again, it's going to be a mix of energy refills, DigiCash, if you want to progress at an, you know, at an average pace. But if not, if you don't want to spend your DigiCash, it's going to be very, very, very slow. Okay, so again, the late chapters for all of the operation stages are going to re require, most of them are going to require 40. So again it's going to be very very difficult so um for those who have not for those who have not uh, realized this um they actually gave us something of a small what do you call this small gift in terms of energy recharge i don't know if it's a gift um there is a new package here this is the one it's zero for those who haven't realized this there is a zero for daily material allocation this is free energy but this is only a medium free energy and it is only one which means that they're giving out a free 30 every day so i'm not sure if this is enough this refreshes daily so this just popped out after the recent update um just you know if there are small spenders there one of the things that i would like to recommend is this one the employee benefit i know this is only 30 
but you also get Digicash from this one. So again, you can convert this into energy if you want, but this is, I think, one of the best, you know, best packages. This drops um, daily. So for 30 days, this is um, immediately upon you obtain this one. And the 30, uh, what is this currency? Bit gold. The 30 bit gold is going to cost you around $5, which is around 250 something pesos here or 270 pesos in Philippines. And but it's going to be five US dollars. So that is it. But this is for the whole month. OK, so that is just uh, those are just tips just to augment some of your energy problems. So at this point, guys, we need to be wise about our energy where do we spend it and how we spend it so there you go guys hopefully i was able to discuss what we need to discuss about energy and hopefully the devs will be able to listen to what we need to progress faster in this game so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here